Now here's something also to think about. When you're doing cut-ins, especially around door frames, window frames, and stuff like that, even baseboard, depending what kind of spray texture you have on the wall, you might have heavy spray texture knockdown, you might have skip trowel, you might have just heavy spray texture, you might have just orange peel texture, you might have smooth wall. But if you got any sort of texture, and if you're cutting in, and you're thinking, man, it's not covering all the way. Well, as you're, as you're going down, you may have to then come up too. You know, you may have to go down and up, then down and up, or up and down, however you have to do it. So you're gonna have to be practicing. And that's why you, you, get, the, you get the throwaway paintbrush like I'm doing, and you'll get good at it. And, you, and you'll know what you have to do, and what you don't have to do. And once you get a, a, a good cut and brush, you'll be good to go. And if you just wanna do the, uh, uh, the throwaway paintbrushes, because you very seldom, you very seldom do any paint, hey, that's fine too, okay? Just, I wanted to point that out to you because I don't want you to get frustrated saying, man, I just cut this in, or I just cut in the ceiling. I just cut in the ceiling up around the, the wood, or up around the T-bar ceiling, or up around the, the, the trim that's not gonna be painted up there, and I cut it in, and I can still see marks, and it's not covering. That's because you have gotta go to the left, and then you gotta go back to the right. Then you may have to go back to the left, and then you may have to blend it all in uh, from the top down, you know, an inch and a half. Uh, flat ways with however thick uh, width uh, cut and brush you have. You see what I mean? Different ways to do it, but I know you can do it. Well, that's all I got time for, but I'll be back with more videos.